Hey, man, hi. Chapter 5, Reconciliations, Exercise 5L, Mixed Questions at the end. Reconciliations, you're given a reconciliation and an initial value here, and it says, what's the value, first of all, of U2? <coughs> Again, it's a matter of notation. Usually the terms are notated U1, U2, U3, U4, meaning the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term. But quite often, especially when it's a time sequence, you could have a U0 signifying the initial value, and then U1 becomes the first one after the first interval of time has been applied. But here, all that matters is that you're looking for consecutive ones. This relationship here just tells you from any given term only how to find the next one. So if I want U2, I can't get that straight away. I'll have to find U1 first of all by using its preceding one. So U1 is going to be 0.75 times 20 plus 4. Well, I know that's 50 and 4 is 19. Then I can get to U2 from U1 by doing 0.75 times 19 plus 4. So that we just put in 19 times 0.75 plus 4 and get 18.25. So that'd be the answer to the first one. Part B says, what's the smallest value of n for which the term un stays less than 17? Well, that's just a case of plodding on. I'd have to plod on and find u3, u4, u5, u6, and so on, until I got to the one that dropped below 17, and then that would be the value of n that would be required. Now, for that, I'm just going to use the answer function here. I could start wherever I like, I could start at the 20. So all I'll do is I'll clear the screen, put 20 into it, press equals. As soon as I've pressed equals, that number has been stored in that particular memory in the calculator called answer. It records the last result you got from pressing equals. So having pressed equals, 20 is stored into it. And then if I just do times 0.75, I've got answer times 0.75, that means 7 times the last answer. Add on the 4. Then when I press equals, I get my 19. Now that I've got the 19, when I press equals again, that answer now becomes that last equals that was put in. So I get 18.25. Now I can just rattle these off. So I've got U3 would be 17.6875. Press again. U4 is 17.265 and a few more. U5 is 16.949 and a few more. So that's it. The question said, smallest value of n for which n is less than 17, well, it's at 5. So if un is less than 17, then that means that n is equal to 5. Or maybe I should have said smallest n equals 5. Then part C, find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. That just means, if you go mad pressing this button, since I've got that reconciliation already sent here, if I just keep pressing equals, then I can see what's happening. I've got 16, and then 16 zero zeros, and then there's more and more zeros appear in the decimal places, until eventually it just ends up as nothing left. I'm just getting 16s. So that looks like... The limit is 16. But of course, I'm not going to specify it that way by putting them all down. I'll just say this. Since I'm multiplying by a proper fraction, or you can say this, the coefficient is 0 0.75. And since 0 0.75, its absolute value is less than 1, well, you can see it's between 1 and negative 1, that means that the terms will converge to a limit, we'll call that L, as n tends to infinity. Could be. <coughs> There's two ways you could use a formula, or I could just put L instead of that. Maybe I'll use that formula in other ones, but in this one I'll actually put down this business here, because what that means is, once I reach this limit, if I start with that limit and then multiply by 0.75, oh, my pen's going, and add 4, the answer should also be the limit. I'll have reached the limit once these terms 
have leveled off so that they're always just producing the same answer. And they produce the same answer because the amount they drop, because 0.75 of that value is exactly the same as the 4 that goes back up again. So I've reached the limit once I've got whatever that number is, so the 0.75 of it plus 4 takes you back to it again. Swap sides, 0.25 of L is 4, divide out, 4 divided by 0.25, and you know what that's a quarter, so a quarter into that's going to be 16. So the limit's going to be 16. Now, that's question 1.